So we're having this big cold snap that's going throughout the whole Midwest and I thought I would use it as an experiment to find out uh, just how temperature stable the Wallapini is without the uh, active heating going. So I actually have this uh, to help me maintain a, a steady temperature. It's, it only comes on when um, temperature drops to a certain point, but I have it off right now. <clears throat> it's been about an hour and it's dropped to 44 degrees. Now normally on a, a what we will call a normal cold day, 20 degrees, it would take a long time to drop this low, but this is why I'm doing it today because I obviously don't want to put my plants at too much of a risk. So that gives you some idea of what we're up against. It's 45 degrees right now inside, with negative seven out. Not too windy yet. Um, and that's right up against the building. It's probably closer to negative 10. And after an hour, it's dropped to, um, you know, 44 degrees. Let's see. 44 and a half actually <clears throat> um, so we're gonna we're gonna let it go for another hour uh, see see how it goes see if we can get to an equilibrium I do this because it's good to know what the um, you know what the baseline is so that if the power were to go out or um, something bad were to happen um, to my system that uh, I would know kind of what would happen if I weren't able to get um, emergency heat in here and how long I had to go. Um, we are seeing some damage from different things. It's a little complicated right now. Um, I had a shrew tear up some stuff like over here, although it could have been a rat I've decided. It uh, dug this pepper plant out, but in the meantime, I got um, this habanero over here. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. And that's uh, that's with us holding that 50 degrees actually. And uh, this is a um, tie, and uh, it's hurting too. I don't see any root damage from any rodents. I don't know what happened to that because. These are ties over here, and he's doing all right. On the other hand, he is right on the uh, recipient of the ground air heat transfer system. The air coming out is 51 degrees, and uh, that's just the ground heat. So maybe that is why, but I don't know. This is only like four feet away, maybe five. These other things are alright, except for the basil, but it's been dead for a while. So anyway, it's uh, a good day to experiment to see what's going on because, um, yeah, it's going to get cold a lot faster. I don't have to wait around overnight. I wouldn't trust it while I was sleeping. I can monitor it while I'm awake and get the heat back on when I do go to bed. So there will be another part to this video here very shortly. All right, so I let it go about six hours, kind of as an experiment here. Um, it is dropped here on the outer edge to 42 degrees. It is negative 12 outside. Um, I have not been heating it. The only thing that I have going is the ground air heat transfer system, which is over here see that the temperatures up there are still a little bit warmer. That's getting piped way over there. We'll go look at that in a minute. In the middle of the Wallapini, this sensor, 42 degrees. I mean, it's, this is really holding on really well. 50 degree temperature spread without any heat except for the ground air heat transfer system. It's coming out at 50 degrees. 
itself that's um, doing a pretty good job holding it at an equilibrium, I would say. It's, if I didn't heat it at all, if I just kind of let it go on a night like this, it could probably still drop to, um, no, it wouldn't do 35, it'd go to like 39. Um, one of the things that's actually helping right now is you can see it, it we're snowed in. We have a snow layer of insulation that's helping us out here. Um, if it were windy, this this would not be holding on like this. But um, even though it's supposed to be windy, we'll see how it is tomorrow. It is not windy right now, so we're doing pretty well. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go to bed, so I'm not gonna let it go untended. So when I flick that on, it's gonna come on right away because. It is actually linked to this thermostat and it's supposed to um, come on automatically at uh, 47. We'll just sort of watch to see how long it takes to get up to temperature. See the snow up there. Can't even see out of it. You saw how long it took. Not very long at all. I bumped it up a degree there. So it comes out 
50 degrees almost all year long. It's got to be really, really, really cold for it to get lower than that. But never, hardly ever does. So there we go. Much better than last year. I've said that a few times. And uh, that's lights out on this cold weather update.